Hey friends, welcome back to Craft Time with Miss Kelly. Today we are making Pentecost pinwheels. So when Jesus, before he died, he said that he would send us a helper after he died. And the helper's name was the Holy Spirit. So I'm gonna read a little bit from Acts chapter two and explain a little bit what the Holy Spirit is and what Pentecost is. When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. So they were all gathered upstairs in Jerusalem. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rush of a mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then they appeared to the then they appeared then there appeared to them divided tongues as fire. One sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues, that means other languages, as the Spirit gave them utterance. So they weren't able to speak in other languages before, and the Holy Spirit gave them that power to speak in other language. The Holy Spirit gives us all kinds of things. It prays for us, it um, does helps us do God's will. Um, the Holy Spirit is a helper to all of us, not only the disciples, but to all of us. And to kind of remind us of that gush of wind and fire that happened at Pentecost, we're making Pentecostal pinwheels. Okay, so for today's craft, we're gonna need the printout that you can print out below, a hole punch, half a chenille stem, a pencil or a pen, just make sure it's pretty long, and scissors. Make sure you always ask your parents permission before using scissors. If you don't have a hole punch, don't feel bad. You can just stick your pencil through the hole or a pen just to pop it through. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut all around the outline to cut out my pinwheel. Make sure it's nice and straight. Take your time cutting. You want nice edges. Then I'm going to take my scissors and just cut along the black lines in the center. Not all the way up to the circle, just along the black lines. If you wanted to, you can color your pinwheel in. You can write your Bible verse on it, Acts chapter 2 verses one through four, so it'd be A-C-T-S, two, colon, one, dash four. Okay, then we're gonna take our hole punch and punch out these black circles. Be very careful you don't go all the way to the edge. We want it in the center of the circle. It worked better if you had cardstock, I don't have cardstock. You can always reinforce your circles if you have to with tape. Just might not fly as well. And one more. All right. Then I'm gonna use my scissors carefully. Fold this in half. We don't wanna rip anything. Semi folded in half, I guess. Don't make a big crease. We just want to cut out the circle. Unless you have a long enough hole punch, my hole punch is not going to reach. I'm going to use my scissors to carefully cut out the circle. Again, you can always stick your pencil through or your pen to give it a nice hole. Then I'm gonna start folding in. Again, don't crease it, just kind of fold it in. If you crease it, your pinwheel won't twirl as well. So these half folds, open circle to open circle. Open circle to open circle. And we're gonna go back through and fix it up in a minute. So it can just kind of be rough. Again, we wanna gently do it. We don't wanna crease on our folds. And we're just gonna take our chenille stem and go through the back and pop it through. And just make a nice 
Kind of twist your chenille stem to make a nice knot. You can always stick it through like a button or something to hold it in place. There we go. And make sure it's pretty, pretty loose. Just like that. So then I'm gonna take my pencil And I'm gonna wrap it around. My pinwheel. So we just wanna twirl it right up to the pinwheel. Give it a little bit of a gap in between. And ta-da, you have your pinwheel. Let's see how well it works. Well, have fun, enjoy blowing on your pinwheel. Remember that a Holy Spirit is here anytime we need to talk to him and he is there, always there praying for us. Enjoy this day of Pentecost. We'll see you next time.